In this lesson, we're going to be looking at something uh, a bit more advanced. It's probably the most advanced of all the eloquent relationships. It's called polymorphic relationships. Uh, it sounds long. It sounds scary and intimidating. Don't worry, it's not. I felt exactly the same when I was first reading about it. Uh, so let's explain what this is about. Let's say that we want articles to have comments and we also want users to have comments on their profiles. Well, we could create a couple of tables. We could have user comments and then we could have article comments. But this is going to cause a lot of repetition and we want our code to be as dry as possible. If you don't know, dry stands for don't repeat yourself. So we're going to simply create a comments table and we're going to have a couple of fields here. We're going to have body, which is the comment content. We're going to have user ID, which is the comment author. And then what we're going to have is comment able ID and commentable type. And this type is going to be the model. Okay, so let's very quickly add a couple of comments. We'll say this article is awesome. Let's say Alex posted that on the article with an ID of one. And commentable type is where it gets a little bit trickier. If we think about it, we're trying to make a comment on an article. So all we have to do is put in their article. And notice how I'm uh, I'm giving it the name of the model instead of the name of the table. So let's also add another comment saying this user is awesome. And we'll do user ID one, which is me. And we'll put that on Alex's profile. And this time we're going to provide the model for the users table. So let's create a comment model. And this is very simple comment extends eloquent all we need to do is put in one method called commentable and this this method name here is the same as the prefix we used here so commentable id and commentable type and all we have to do is return this morph2 could not be simpler so now if we go to user our user model we want to be able to grab the user's comments so what we're going to do is say public function comments now your first instinct may be to say return this belongs to comment but that isn't going to work because it's going to return comments for the articles as well and we only want comments for user profiles here so what we're going to do is we're going to return this morph many because a profile has many comments and we're going to pass in the name of the comment method, uh, the comment model. And then we're going to pass in the name of that method that we just created. So commentable, just like we created here. Very simple. And to get the articles comments, we can literally just copy and paste that code into here. So now we've got all of that done. We're going to go to the uh, profile view. And what we want to do now is display a user's comments. So let's get rid of those articles and we're going to say for each user comments. Yeah, that'll do user comments as comment and for each. And for now, we'll just say comment body. So I hit refresh and we're not seeing anything because we're not on the user profile. We don't have any comments. If we go to Alex's, however, we get this this user is awesome comment which we just created in the database so now let's do the same thing for articles and if we go to the profile view we can literally just copy this and paste it again so let's indent that and change this to articles or article go back to the home page and there we have it there's our comment and let's just move this rule to make things a bit clearer and you know what? Why not? Let's add a little header. So this article is awesome. 
So let's just quickly to draw this in your head. Let's add another ad, uh, another comment to this article here. So body will say hello world. User ID will say. By the way, this user ID column is the poster ID. So commentable ID is the article ID, since we're making this for an article. And then we provide the article model. Hit refresh, and there we have it.